Jonathan Lee Riches, a.k.a. JLR. I am following the Vicky White, Casey White escape out of Lauderdale County, Alabama. As soon as this happened days ago, it instantly reminded me of the Richard Matt, David Sweat, Joyce Mitchell case out of Clinton County Correctional Facility in New York back in June of 2015. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, this has all the hallmarks of inmates uh, manipulating female staff to escape prison. Uh, that case out of Clinton County, or Clinton County Correctional Facility up in upstate New York back in 2015, two inmates, uh, David Sweat, Richard Matt, serving long sentences, uh, befriends and uh, manipulates a jail staff, a, a female who was married, Joyce Mitchell, um, at the, you know, tailor shop inside the jail. Uh, you know, Mitchell starts sending nude photos to sweat, uh, has sexual encounters with Richard Matt. Um, then they, you know, manipulate her and Connor into bringing in materials like hacksaws and escape equipment into the jail so they can tunnel their way out of the jail, you know, and they also were allegedly trying to kill Joyce Mitchell's husband. Um, she backed out of the last second. They did escape. Uh, they were on the run for weeks. Uh, manhunt for them. Uh, you know, lots of resources, police resources looking for these individuals. Matt was ended up found, shot, killed, sweat, got caught serving his life plus his escape. Joyce Mitchell was also charged for aiding and abetting these people um, with their escape and bringing contraband in prison. She got like a two and a, I think a two and a third to seven year sentence uh, in prison. She was just released a couple years ago. Ironically, I think her parole was up. Um, the last time I read, like her parole of her case is up in a couple months. But this Casey White, Vicky White case has like these high profile cases of escapes. It just reminds me of the, the, that case. Uh, you know, they're going to get caught. Vicky, Vicky and uh, Casey are going to get caught. I mean, the guy's like the Jolly Green Giant, six foot nine. She's little. It's kind of like an odd couple anyway. I mean, you, you're going to notice a six foot nine guy in the community. So I don't think they're going to be out there very long. But it is costing the state a lot of money to find these people. You know, I read it was like, you know, it's going to cost millions of dollars, you know, uh, Vicky needs to be held accountable for what she did. Uh, you know, it's just, it, it's crazy, but the jail also has to be held responsible too, allowing, you know, Vicky to take this inmate out of jail, uh, to, you know, go to a, uh, you know, medical or a court evaluation. I don't know the actual details with that, but alone, you know, without other jail staff joining her is just a, a total, uh, um, breach of security, you know, and uh, there should be people of the higher chain of command that should be held accountable for that, along with uh, uh, Vicky. Uh, if Joyce Mitchell out of New York uh, got a two and a half to seven year sentence, this woman here, Vicky, is going to get a lot more because she backed out. Joyce backed out of it at the last second, you know, but she was still held accountable for bringing the contraband to allow these guys to escape. She didn't actually escape with them and go hide with them. So she got a two and a third to seven year sentence. Uh, Vicky's in big trouble. Uh, Vicky's in big trouble. But, you know, I'm also concerned about Vicky's safety too, you know. Um, uh, this man here, you know, he's, he, you know, he's confessing to killing people all over the state. Um, you know, he could kill her. He could kill her or even hold her hostage uh, somewhere, you know. Where are they at? Where are they going to go? Where, where are they going to go? You know, uh, you can't use your credit cards or you know, electronic, uh, uh, ways money because, you know, that will be tracked. So where are they going to go? Uh, my hunch is they're going to go to Florida. You know, a lot of people come to Florida. Ted Bundy came to Florida when he was out there in the West. They like the Florida weather. Uh, so if he's in Florida, I'll definitely out there. If there's any sightings of them, whatever, I'll definitely, uh, look around. You know, I like to, you know, get, get in the mix when it comes to these type of things. So I'll definitely go out there and search, but I'm going to make another video, um, about, prison inmates grooming female staff. Because as you guys know that I spent 10 years in federal prison for a nonviolent crime, but I seen it all. And I, I witnessed and seen inmates have sexual relationships with female staff, female correctional officers, females that work in the kitchen, females that work in the um, uh, medical 
departments inside these jails and and it's 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 you know these inmates some of them are serving a long time and they con and they manipulate and they you know make these females believe that they love them and you know these females then get brainwashed and they do irrational things uh you know <laughs> that don't make no sense you know i you know i don't even i mean helping someone escape that you hardly know or you just you know met recently i think this guy um casey was just put down in that jail uh recently so i doubt they knew each other for a long time i'm sure they met at the time they were in that facility uh he just, you know, maybe she was in awe about his tallness. I, you know, I don't know, you know, who, who, who knows, you know, and I'm, I'm sure more will come out. It's a fluid situation. Uh, these people need to be found. Uh, you know, that's, ex you know, anyone that escapes from uh, prison is, it, you can be considered dangerous, especially if they're, you know, killed before, uh, and can, you know, are confessing to killing, you know, so if they can, you know, kill multiple times, they could kill again, you know, uh, where are you going to hide, you know, uh, in that area, it is, you know, Northern Alabama, you know, interstates have a lot of, uh, you know, they switch cars and it, I don't think it was appropriate for, for, uh, the media in a sense to release the car information. Um, because if that was kept under wraps, law enforcement could have kept an eye on them and maybe caught them by now. But now they probably know that they know what vehicle they're in. So they um, probably switched cars again. How much money they have, I don't know. You know, are they committing crimes where they're out there to further facilitate their uh, escape, you know, by breaking in homes and, 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 and sleeping and hiding or, you know, doing other crimes reported? That remains to be seen. But it seems like this case is getting a lot of traction and everything like that. But I am going to make a video um, so subscribe, share, I'm going to make a video about my experiences in prison, seeing inmates, uh, groom other, uh, female inmates or female staff. Uh, you know, that's a, it's, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. You, you can just put, um, in the Google search, you know, uh, any type of jail employee having sexual relations with a, a male inmate and it's prevalent. It happens. It happens a lot, believe it or not. And occasionally you get a high profile cases like this where, you know, these, these women take it, you know, outside the facility, you know, they do the sexual relationship stuff inside the prison, but, you know, and eventually get caught in the, you know, the, 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 the female staff, uh, some, you know, gets fired. A lot of times it's male staff on female inmates too. You know, if you, you see a lot in the federal prisons, you know, with the female inmates, um, getting raped, manipulated, conned. Uh, by male staff, male staff having sexual relations and stuff like that. So it, it, it is a problem. It is a problem. But according, you know, to this, uh, what I'm reading about Vicki White is, you know, she was a very, um, everybody says she worked very hard. And, you know, this is shocking. This is even the district attorney in that town said they previously had conversations with Vicki days before this escape. And, uh, he, you know, he's shocked, shocked that this could happen, you know. Um, so, you know, let's hope they're found uh that's my insight of the situation totally reminds me of the uh clinton uh county correctional facility case in upstate new york uh the two guys actually two guys manipulated one uh, uh female staff uh, so it, it it does happen so uh that's uh pray it's pray for the community it's pray no one gets hurt a lot of manpower a lot of resources are being used pray for all those officers and all the people out there looking uh, for these individuals for their safety. Um, hopefully, um, the jail there can correct what was, you know, done. And make sure this doesn't happen again in other, you know, counties around that area. And then, you know, other uh, facilities nationwide has an eye on this case to plug up their loopholes. So, you know, it can't be uh, manipulated or circumvented. So, that's my take for the day. God bless. Let's hope these individuals are found and brought to justice. And uh, this can end quickly. God bless.